Hello everyone, I'm Redspawn and in my analog wire video I showed you how much information you can carry with two analog wires. Now I'm gonna show you how much information you can carry with three wires. For those of you who haven't seen the other video, a normal redstone wire carries one bit of information, either on or off, so it has two states. But redstone has 15 different power levels and analog wire keeps the power level. So if it can either be off or at one of the 15 power levels, there are 16 states. So we have three analog wires here and they have 16 states each. Together they have 16 to the power of 3 different combinations which is 4096. So with these three wires I can send 4096 different signals, which is a lot. But encoding these signals is anything but easy. This is my encoder over here. It has 16 layers. On each layer there are, there's a 16 by 16 square of levers and there's a total of 4096 levers. The three analog wires carry the coordinates of the lever that you have turned on. Gold is the X coordinate, coal is the Y coordinate and emerald is the Z coordinate. So if we go to the fourth level and to the fifth row and activate say this lever, you can see it encoded this information into these wires and I just have this thing here to subtract the Y coordinate from 15 because it is inverted, I kinda failed. Now I'm going to show you my decoder. I have made a decoder, although it is really big, so please don't die. It's not as complicated as it seems like, it's just the same piece repeated 4000 times. So now when it's fully loaded, we can go to the fourth layer, one, two, three, four, sorry for the lag, and we have to count the row from the other side, because we counted it from there at the encoder, one, two, three, four, five, and as you can see, this lamp right here is turned on, which is the same lamp as the lever at the encoder. And this is the only lamp from all the 496 that is turned on right now. Did I say 400? I meant 4000. This is not meant to be used in survival. It's supposed to be used in redstone computers type thing. And it's just a proof of concept, so it could probably be a lot more compact. That's about it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next video.